Hey guys, Chris here with my review of Still Rising. I'm not going to go over what's the best build to use or which weapons are most effective in the game. The bigger YouTube channels have already done that. I'm going to give you my honest opinion on the game and finish every main quest and every side quest and max out my two main weapons. I had a great time playing Stir Rising. I'm a big fan of Soul Likes games, and those are promoted as a Souls like game. However, I think Stir Rising is more like a difficult third person action adventure game. You see, Stir Rising allows you to modify the difficulty. You can make it as hard as you want or as easy as you want. For me to be a Souls game, there should not be a difficulty option. There should be one difficulty for everyone. If the game has an easy option, then it's not a Souls game. Just want to get this out the way. Still Rising can sit on an alternate French Revolution. You play as Aegis, a dancing robot, going after the King Monstrous Automat. You see, the king has gone mad, and he's killing everyone who doesn't agree with him. And Aegis is the only automat that can make things right. I like the combat in the game. Aegis has a variety of weapons and grenades that you can use, so you can tailor your game based on your preference. I found the combat tad easy. The grenades are overpowering, to the point that I did not use any of them for most of the game. I also like the levels in the environment. There are not that many, but some of them are really cool. I like the burning buildings and underground passages. The bosses are just okay. There are a few cool looking ones, but there aren't many. It usually takes a while for before you encounter them, and when you do, they are not as difficult. And if you use Kune, then the fight will be a cakewalk. The main issue that I have with the game is the level design. You will get lost in the game because some of the environment looks the same and are confusing. Unlike most Souls games, you can jump and use some type of grappling hook that you will find later in the game. So your path can be on top of a roof or in a well hidden place, making it difficult to get your bearing. Especially when you have to return to a level for the 5th or 10th time. One of the first quests had me going around in circles for hours to find a way to get into a building. I even had to create a video for it because I knew other players may have the same issue because the solution to it was not obvious. This issue will be your main problem with Still Rising, especially if you want to do all the side quests. It seemed like the developers knew this because at some point in the game, you can get a compass to point you in the right direction. I wish they had added more visible landmarks to make it easier to find your way instead of giving you a compass. But you don't have to use it. Besides all of that, I had a great time with Stone Rising, and I'm open to purchase any DLC that may come later. If you're looking for a difficult Souls like game while you wait for an Elder Ring DLC, Stone Rising is not it. But if you're looking for a decent third person action game, you should give Stone Rising a try. Thanks for watching. Chris Video Streams out. Peace.